This is Pastor Din Padayag. Welcome to Soul Food First. Some of you know that uh, my family and I are missionaries of Things to Come Mission in South Africa. And we are very grateful for the opportunity to serve the Lord in this beautiful country. We take pride of our organization, Things to Come Mission. And we take pride of what the Lord is doing through our ministry and family. But we are not alone. Things to Come Mission has missionaries in many parts of the world and we are also working with other grace organizations but things to come mission continues to teach and train men and women who are called by god to go out to the regions beyond to be missionaries to carry the gospel of salvation and the gospel of the grace of god and this July and August, we are giving way to other missionaries, especially those who are new ones that are still on deputation and they are preparing themselves to go out to their respective ministries. And so we encourage you to tune in as these missionaries will share their ministries and teach and share about mission. We are praying that they will be a blessing to you and you will be a blessing to them. Thank you very much. Sawadee Krab, Sawadee my Krab. Greetings from the beautiful language of Thailand. I am your servant in the Lord, Pastor Patti Arsino. And I want to extend my gratitude to all our brothers and sisters in Christ watching throughout the world and to my co-workers, especially here in Leyte, Philippines, headed by our active supervising minister, Pastor Jeremy Blanco. So all my co-laborers in the Lord, my friends, my relatives, and to my home church who love and support our family since 2010 when I first came and assigned here in Matlang, Isabel, Leyte, Philippines. To my family, to my dearest mother, Mama Nene, and to my eight siblings who always at my back, keep pushing and praying. And to all of Things to Come Mission families around the world, I would always be grateful to be one of the thousands of Greece believers. This would be my last presentation, sharing our commitment to serve in a cross-cultural mission. I would like to thank once again to Pastor Den Padayhag, our very own missionary of South Africa with the entire family, for giving me this opportunity to be part of his program, Soul Food First, Grace TV, wherein I could present the basic truth and learning about missions and to present our target country for you to pray. Things to come mission Philippines exists for almost 70 years now, being blessed and prospered by God through his faithful servants. We survive not because we know we can, but because of God's grace. And we offer to people the unique missions and the undeniable administration of grace. This is why we keep on moving and growing. And for how many years? Things to Come Mission Philippines, with a strong partnership of Things to Come USA, reach other countries that establish grace churches. We are grateful to the commitment of the assigned missionaries facing all the greater challenges who earnestly pray that God will give them the capacity for growth, not just survival. For today's video, I would love to present to you our field assignment in Thailand, and that we, the Arsinos, commit ourselves to do missions to a country highly considered as unrich people. Together with your prayers and encouragement, we can do much more than we can imagine. This commitment 
was also the desire of the Apostle Paul when our Lord Jesus Christ transformed his life and called him for the greatest commission as we called it the Grace Commission. Apostle Paul strongly wrote to the Roman believers as we read it in Romans chapter 15 verse 20. It says, And so I have made it my aim to preach the gospel not where Christ was named, lest I should build on another man's foundation. It means to preach the gospel where the name of Christ has never been heard. Our training at GTCM diverts our focus, widen our perspective, sharpens our intentions, and changes our ambitions and aims in life. It molds us to see the life of the perishing souls that needs to be rescued as soon as possible. Though it really takes time, effort, discipline, and even consistency. I used to work and live simply. It means that chances and possibility depends upon me while I serve the local church. But now everything was changed. Someone asked me, that why do we need to go to other country? Why not stay and continue the work of witnessing, church planting, and even more? No doubt that our beloved country is yet filled, is not yet filled with churches. There are still provinces, cities, and towns that we cannot found great churches. But the fact that our churches here in the Philippines are growing viable and able to reproduce more we are enjoying fellowships conferences youth camps and many gatherings and events we can mention without knowing that there are countries around us that are hopeless need for more laborers prayers and support the purpose is that they will be one of us like us, we can freely worship God, that we can, that they can feel the joy of being one another, and with the hope that someday, together, we will be all in heaven. Help us to pray, the nation of Thailand, and this will be my last part of sharing with you today. So we choose Thailand our target country. It is often referred to us as the land of smiles. Thailand is renowned for the welcoming and warm disposition of its culture and people. There are rice plantations and ornate temples are inter interspersed in and around busy cosmopolitan cities reflecting the diversity of landscapes and lifestyles. Christianity was introduced by European missionaries as early as the 1550s, when Portuguese mercenaries and their chaplain arrived in Ayutthaya. According to history, it has played significant role in the modernization of Thailand, notably in social and educational institutions. Thailand's uh, total population was 71.75 million as of January 2023. Buddhism, 88%. Christian adherent, 1.9%. Evangelical, 1.2%. Thailand is home to 73 living languages, 51 of which are indigenous, and that's to say nothing of all the immigrant languages comprising the linguistic tapestry of the Southeast Asian country. The official language of Thailand is Thai, but there are many languages spoken throughout the country. The top five languages spoken in Thailand are Thai, Burmese, Lao, Khmer, and Chinese. Thailand's religion is made up of Buddhism animism, and Brahmanism, which is also known as Hinduism. All incorporate the worship of spirits 
and gods who may or may not have merit or good karma. These are the core elements of Thai folk religion. How to pray for this nation? Just think of it before you or I get out of bed in the morning. We can pause and pray a part in what God is doing in Thailand among the unrich, among the persecuted, and among the suffering in places where we may never go and in the lives of people we may never meet. And God has not only invited you and me to ask Him for a request around the world, He has promised to answer our request according to His word. So how do we pray for the world according to God's word? I offer the following as a, as a biblical and practical guide to get you started. Pray for the unrich among the nations, especially for Thai people. Pray that God would send laborers to them among, from among them. Pray that a similar pattern from the ministry of Paul and Barnabas through Acts chapter 13 to 14 would emerge that missionaries among the unrich would have confidence in God's word, power from God's spirit, victory in spiritual warfare, success in gospel witness, peace with other believers, and favor with unbelievers. Pray that the gospel would be clear to them and that God would open hearts around them. So how can you pray for us specifically? Pray for the Arsinos, we the Arsinos, that God will use us to be his laborers in Thailand, proclaiming the gospel without wavering, to plant Grace Church and disciple more believers. You can pray for our preparation as we are now in our deputation. We travel and visit Grace Churches in the Philippines, promoting missions and challenging them to be our partners. You can pray for the need of our family, especially to my kids, that God will guide us in nurturing them to serve and live in a foreign land, far from their friends, neighbors, and relatives that they used to be with. You can pray for God's provision for us to prepare all our requirements needed to go to Thailand, our passport, our fare, rentals, and others as the Lord provides. You can pray also for my fellow new missionaries, the Zabati family and the Mejia family, also the family of Marat and the family of Indino, as we are now on our deputation and preparing our lives to testify the gospel to the regions beyond. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, we have been created for so much more. We have been called to join with the God of the universe in spreading His goodness and glory among all the nations. Let's pray today toward this end, starting today, and as we do, we will experience the pure joy of participating with God in the accomplishment of His end goal for all the world. Thank you once again for watching us here in Grace TV, Soul Food First. God bless us all. You are watching Soul Food First on Grace TV. Please follow us on the Grace TV Facebook page and please subscribe to our Grace TV YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless you. Bye!